what you don't know might be what the enemy might use against you. There are many animals that are unclean. Although in the New Testament, the Bible says not to call anything unclean, that doesn't negate the fact that there are still some animals that are used by witches and wizards. For instance, the madman of Gadara, when Jesus came and cast out devils, they came out from him and entered into a swine, pigs. And we know the story. It is very possible, like we also know in the Garden of Eden, the devil used the serpent and he deceived Eve. And when we talk about witchcraft, Satan is the mastermind behind it. When the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world and wicked spirits in heavenly places. These wicked spirits in heavenly places, that is the category where witchcraft falls under. Witchcraft operations is a diabolical means by which those practitioners can manipulate reality in order to achieve their desired outcomes. And that goes to say they use whatever means possible to achieve their evil and sinister intentions. And thereby, they have devised a means by which they can travel to monitor through animals. Those animals that may be suitable for them to use is called unclean animals. Now, pay attention so as to know how to put your guard against whatever animal or insect that the witches, the monitoring spirit, will use to monitor your life. Pay attention and listen till the very end. I believe that will help you in Jesus' mighty name. Number one is flies. There is a demon called Beelzebub. It literally means the god of the flies. Flies could be used by witches and wizards or monitoring spirits to carry out their evil intentions. A spirit could influence them. A testimony of a woman that each time she opens her shop, flies are everywhere. And she puts one of my videos on monitoring spirit. And anytime the video plays, the flies' invasion was cut off. They couldn't operate any longer. And that had been her ordeal until we prayed. Praise the Lord. There are some stubborn flies. You do everything, you apply insecticide, but they are still there. You know, this is no longer natural. I used to live in a house one time, all those toilet flies that were bigger than the normal house flies. You see them coming around. And I did, before I discovered that was a witchcraft house, they always manifest after some time. And when I got the wind of it that this is not natural, I started by the blood of sprinkle, anointing the place, and that was how I was able to overcome them. Praise the Lord. So pay attention, and there are some people, anywhere they go, you see flies. And before you know it, spirit of rejection. Before you know it, hatred. And some could even be the sign of untimely death. Because flies always follow carcass wherever they are. Number two are frogs. Frogs could be used by monitoring spirit or witches and wizards in order to carry out their sinister intentions or motives. I remember one certain time I saw a particular frog during my trial and battle with that notorious warlock. And suddenly it appeared from nowhere and at that point I was beginning to feel some sort of things in my body yes and I was trying to overlook it until the Spirit of God reminded me of why frogs was among the plagues in Egypt hallelujah had the frog been a good thing that couldn't have been used against the Egyptians amen praise the Lord so pay attention to that. Now I understand some religious people will say, oh, this is superstition. <laughs> Many people 
have been dealt by witches and wizards just because of this ignorance. Practically, I have a case I am undertaking. Their dad taught them not to believe any of those things. There is nothing like witches or wizards. They are too superstitious and all of that. And practically, someone took her shoe and since then her life has not remained the same. She had a beautiful shoulder according to her and that person was having a very lean shoulder. And they kept touching her there and suddenly that place became black. That was how we got to meet because we have to pray that away by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. So until this person experienced all these things and retrogression for many years, that's how she come to believe just by watching these videos. And the Lord is already working. Amen. So please, the carnal mind, remember, does not understand the things of the Spirit. If you told anybody a donkey spoke in the Bible, they will laugh. It sounds like world destiny, as if you, as though you are talking about cartoons. But you and I know that the scriptures cannot be broken. Praise the Lord. So it doesn't matter how you see it. These are the realities on ground. If you neglect it, you are doing it to your own detriment. But I pray you will try and understand that this life is highly spiritual. It's not the way you visualize things to be. Praise the Lord. Number three. Snakes, snakes, demonic and monitoring spirit will use snakes. Amen. When you see a snake in your dream, you know <laughs> that's a terrible dream. Speaking about spirit of witchcraft or diabolical serpentic spirit. So you see there's a reason why Satan used the serpent in the garden. And he supplanted Eve, even led them out of their destinies. Imagine an animal being the body used by spirit entity that disrupt the plan and purpose of God in the life of humanity and ended their reign as intended by God. That is not something to take lightly. Yes, pay attention to that and you will save yourself a ton of trouble. Number four, rats. Rats are will be could be the favorite animals used by monitoring spirits. They are generally the spirit of destruction, wretchedness, and poverty. That's why anywhere you see rats, you will see the place smelly when they wee or poop. You see everything is just somehow upside down. They scatter and you see them, they eat up things and they try to make that place to be unpleasant. I remember one time I had a dream of seeing a rat. I had a dream seeing a rat in that house for the first time. And the next morning, I saw a rat physically. I followed that rat up and shortly within 30 minutes, my wife had a miscarriage of 8 months. That literally she died because even the machine was reading dead. But for the mercy of God, her appointment with dead was cancelled to the glory and honor of the Lord prayerfully also amen so don't take it for granted as a matter of fact each time in that warlock's house you kill a rat they come back again you kill a rat they come back again and each time they are operational in that very house you begin to struggle with lack it looks like a coincidence your brethren that is not the case so most of these rats sometimes they are spiritual you poison them, they don't die. Literally one day, we were struggling to feed. And I saw rats. And I prayed on that very day. In the name of Jesus, I command every witchcraft rat to die. Brethren, in heaven we will stand one day. I woke up and the rats were dead without no poison. Practically, I prayed without no rat traps, no poison. Because I applied those, they didn't work. And out of anger, I say, I command every witchcraft rat to die in the name of Jesus. All the rats were dead. Kali Frenkola Frekaniata Paliata. This I know that witches and wizards they use such animals. Now I pray for you, anyone struggling with witchcraft rats that have defied traps and and, and poison 
I command them to die in the name of Jesus. I seize their life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. These things are real, brethren. God uses the foolish things of this world to confirm the wise. Don't be too intellectual for this. These are not intellectual things. A little girl of five years can oppress a professor of 80 years and make their lives unbearable and create stagnation. But that will not be you. Take this thing serious. It's not that you over-spiritualize everything. You have to know if this is natural or this is spiritual. I think that's a major key right there. There could be the natural ones, but who knows? Praise the Lord. So just take responsibility and know that these things are possible. So when you are dealing with all these vices, monitoring spirit, as though you are speaking things people are knowing somewhere, each time you want to do a thing, you see as though you are speaking it to someone's ears, then pay attention to these things that I'm teaching you right now. It's a very strong word for you today. Number five, owls. Praise the Lord. For many of you, you know my story with owls. As a matter of fact, someone after watching my battle with an African notorious warlord, I saw a catapult. See, man of God, I got this and I was telling my children they thought I was crazy until they listened to the video. And we have been accosted by such spirit and the Lord gave me victory. Praise the Lord. And they have reduced a lot. That is by no means trying to make doctrine out of that. Praise the Lord. I told you I was inspired. But the Bible says, consider the end of their faith. Whose faith follow? So in this kingdom, we are not charged for copying. Amen? If it works, why not? Praise the Lord. So owls, as a matter of fact, they are some of the unclean birds in the scripture. And witches and wizards, they love unclean things. Praise the Lord. Like the Holy Ghost, love one to live holy. That's how evil spirit, they love unclean places. So that's why if you see yourself living a filthy life, that could be an indication of infestation of demonic spirits indwelling you. Praise the Lord. If you're in that condition, I decree your freedom. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. So the owl bear, the witches and wizards, they love using this a lot. Praise the Lord. When the owl stands, you see the head, it could turn 360 degrees. It could turn any direction it wants. And it could stay there and monitor. Practically, when we are in that house with the African warlock, one day my wife was doing something at the backyard. Because he likes to know whatever you are doing. Pra practically, sometimes, when we are talking, you could hear footsteps and suddenly the person stops moving. I had opened the door so many times only to see him peeping or trying to listen. As soon as he sees you, he's confused and trying to begin to act as though he's trying to fix something around that place. That is one way also to understand the operation of witches and wizards. Praise God. So, and suddenly this person wanted to know what she was doing and he couldn't. Suddenly there was an owl bed that came directly to see exactly what she was doing. Praise the Lord. Never take it for granted. God gave me the victory in that house and that was how we dominate and we're able to come out because we never took those things for granted. As you understand, I believe God is coming for you in Jesus' mighty name. Number six, cats. Cat. Praise the Lord. It is not by accident you always hear them say, a witch needs her cats. As a matter of fact, in that house, I told you there are all types of witchcraft animals they use. And when we are talking to the wife of the warlock, asking, why are these owls in this place? She said, it means the people that are using the owls, they reside here. And he said, oh yes, not only owls, but also cats. Yes. And that's why when you see them coming around, they begin to make sound like little babies. So pay attention. This all could be animals, witches and wizards, or monitoring spirit could use. I know so many have cats as pets and they have a problem believing that. But watch around your life. If there are things you don't understand, then ask the Lord for more elucidation. There are natural cats just like we say, but these are animals that are susceptible to the witches and wizards 
usage. May the Lord give you understanding in Jesus' mighty name. Number seven are bats. These animals, you see them in movie Hollywood. All these are not just coincidence. Most of the people in Hollywood, they know many things most believers don't know. Some of them have affiliation with Satan. Some of them have seen the devil face to face. So they, they know all those things. When you see movies about vampires, about Draculas, these are not coincidences. Yes. So, but anywhere they are, they will come and monitor. Witches and wizards, when you see them at night, most times, if God open your eyes, you see them upside down. Don't think that they walk upright when they are going for their meetings. They walk upside down with flame of fire sometimes in their mouth. So when you see bats positioning upside down, that is a contrary position. It's not by accident. Yes, these are unclean birds. And monitoring spirit uses them a lot. So pay attention to that. Like in that very house, you, there is high infestation of bats. In the city on an orange tree, Praise the Lord. Then recently, I saw the tree was cut off. Praise Master Jesus. So pay attention to that and do not take it for granted. Number eight is geckos. Wall geckos. Are these reptile nature, sort of like lizard. You see them with their tails moving, you know, just in a slow motion with big eyes. Practically, most times, you see them on your window, watching. This could actually transmit information in their coven. Yes, they are high receptive antennas of reptiles to watch and monitor. So pay attention to those. Amen. Yes, witches and monitoring spirit, especially, they use those. Many times you could be having nightmares or bad dreams. If care is not taken, when you check around, you see a gecko around. That is for some reasons. Number nine, cockroach. Cockroaches or roaches. Please listen to me very carefully. Don't take them for granted. These very insects are highly poverty driven when you begin to have the infestation of these insects i tell you poverty is not far mm. literally this warlock and his wife when they begin to conduct sacrifices i told you for most of you that haven't watched that video find it out i've put it at the end screen in so many videos that i'm not going to do that anymore you search it out and that very testimony will help so many of you what the Lord did. That was battle of Jesus Christ against the work of witchcraft. Amen. Praise the Lord. Each time they conduct that sacrifice, we begin to see roaches, cockroaches on our window coming up. They could be up to 50. I mean 50. So where we were, we used to put mosquito nets. simply mean a net that blocks mosquitoes from entering. Now, you begin to see them crawling on the window. At first, I was wondering what could be wrong. I try and check if there's any suck away or any dirt. There was nothing like that. I thought it was natural. I went out, I killed, and we saw so many in the room. How they got in there, I can't even tell. That season, it was like hell. Do everything you could, even to point of eating, is a challenge. Then the Lord, I began to ask, then the Lord showed me what season those are coming. The day that shocked me, this happened like three times. Then I now discovered that happened immediately when they start conducting that ritual. You see them going out around 10 o'clock as though they are gisting. The next thing, they do some things back and forth. And I saw them that day. I told my wife that today, you will see roaches. 
Now, the last time they had that, they had that ritual, they did that ritual, was like three months ago. But the day they did it, I told her, today you will see roaches. And lo and behold, the same time, 12 a.m., there were roaches, cockroaches on the window. They started coming. So I started praying, blessing the, the mystery of the blood of sprinkle. When you are haunted, your house is haunted by witches and wizards. Apply these mysteries. I did that. I started sprinkling. And these roaches left. That was how I overcame them. And each time I noticed that, I carry out that activity. I don't allow the roaches, even if I have to go back around 12 a.m., to kill them each time the first time they were doing that you start going broke and you see them living in affluence but since we got the win of that their ritual had never worked anymore and they were frustrated when they see you buying stuff you see them frowning angrily watching how come that was the case that was how god gave us victory in the presence of our enemies the bible said the lord shall prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies amen and the wicked will see with their eyes and gnash their teeth. I prophesy over your life, any of you under such infestation of witchcraft, I will put that satanic activity going on in the name of Jesus. And the Lord shall prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies, in Jesus' mighty name. Even prior to that, it happened twice in the former house when we went for a night vigil to pray against the spirit of poverty. We returned, we saw a cluster of cockroaches joined together many of them in one particular spot just as that wall clock on the watch that spot you just see roaches clustering there that happened once the second time we had the same prayer again in the church listen to me the same cluster of cockroaches in the same spot and guess what they weren't moving they were completely weak try this if you are listening to me and you have roaches Pray against the spirit of poverty, decree judgment, and command it to be destroyed. Free yourself by the power of the Holy Ghost. Pray a prayer from your heart deeply and watch out. You begin to see roaches walking in slow motion, weakly. I guarantee you that. Calibre no ashita lava. These things are spiritual, but they work with physical things. If you know their secrets, they won't get you anymore. And I believe somebody is being delivered. Because the Bible says, through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Number 10, crows. Crows, crows, crows. You see them all the time in graveyards. There is no coincidences there. Amen? The rebellious animals, most of the time, unclean spirit uses those. It was not a coincidence when the crow was sent to go and find out if the rain has stopped by Noah. When there was flood all over the world. Amen. When God allowed flood to destroy the first world. That crow left and never returned. Praise the Lord. So in most cases, there are clean birds. Just like dove. You see the symbol of the Holy Spirit. So why will the dove be used as a symbol of the Holy Spirit? So it's all about spiritual manifestation or indwelling a particular thing amen so that's how evil spirits too can indwell unclean animals or birds or whatever the case may be praise the lord so pay attention to that there are animals like lamb you can sacrifice a lamb jesus was called the lamb or the lion of a trap of judah or an eagle so these animals you know they have positive symbols attached to them also so that's how you have negative animals or insects as the case may be. Praise God. So number 11 and 12, these are bonus. Number 11 is vultures. It's an unclean bird also. Amen? They could be used by witches and wizards. That's why anywhere you see the carcass, you see the vultures. So you could trace the place where there is decadence and death by the presence of vultures in the air. Praise the Lord. These are scavengers. Yes. And number 12 is snails. Snails could be depicted as a spirit of, spirit of delay. As a matter of fact, 
I saw a wizard that was practicing witchcraft to delay someone's destiny. He wrote the name and put it in the shell of a tortoise and a snail. Tie the name there and make enchantment and incantation in order to stifle and slow the progress of that person whose name was, was attached in those fetish operations. As a matter of fact, when I was praying to dismantle every witchcraft, hold and spell that warlock african warlock was engaging to hold that very hold that very property that building when i prayed one of the things that god did he led me to a place i just sort of like went there to do what i don't even know only to find out there were snails in the tire round tire shells of snail many so many snails in that place and when you begin to see them when they enchant on them, that will bring delay. So pay attention to those. Amen. And I plead the blood of Jesus for anyone under such attacks and operation. Be loose in the name of Jesus. Be loose in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the devil and the spirit that is over them. In the name of Jesus, you are free in Jesus' mighty name. Please, if you are watching this channel, you are not doing yourself favor. If you don't watch the Sunday's deliverance prayers, amen. 8 p.m. Nigerian time. Don't miss it for anything. Hallelujah. And if at this very point you've watched all, I want to congratulate you because you are serious with your spiritual life and the Lord shall reward you for your seriousness because through knowledge shall the just be delivered. I decree by this knowledge your deliverance has come in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you've not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Amen. And the Lord will bless you richly because you will be recommended messages like this. And please like and share this video so that someone will watch. You might not need it as much as someone that you will share that will need it. And you will surely be blessed for that. Amen. The Bible says, whatever good a man does, the same shall he receive from the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. This video is going to help you also watch it and be blessed so till i come your way on sunday please avail yourself in that very service and the lord shall perfect that which concerns you in jesus mighty name until then shalom